Hi, this is Dr. Gary and welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Over the past few days I've had the opportunity to really, really examine some of the ideals, the notions, and the attitudes of a lot of people. And I'm noticing that people are becoming increasingly cynical. Cynical about faith, cynical about spirituality, cynical about the government, their lives. And one of the most tragic things I'm hearing people say is, I don't know what difference it makes. Anything I do just doesn't seem to work. I remember and recall that story about Thomas Edison. And if some of you know this, I'm at risk of boring you right now, but some of you may not know about it. And to make a long story short, Thomas Edison is the guy who invented the light bulb. And in order to invent that light bulb, he did almost a thousand attempts at getting it to work. And many of his friends thought he was crazy for continuing to work on something that just seemed to fail one time after another after another. And on the final day where he actually invented the light bulb, one of his friends wanted him to go fishing with him. And he said, no, I'm going to work on this light bulb. I think I got a couple of ideas to get it to work. And this friend of his looked at his manual or his log of all the experiments he had done of all these failures and there's 990 some of them and he told Edison that this is crazy it's obvious this doesn't work you're wasting your time blah 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 well anyway at the end of that day Edison had got it to work and I guess the moral of the story is each of our lives are kind of like that you know, we're working at getting jobs, we're working at feeling better, we're working at our motivation, our health, exercising. We're looking at things in our life, wanting them to work out, and sometimes it seems like they just don't work out. They just seem to not happen for us. And it's really easy to get discouraged. In people's language right now, when I hear people say, well, it doesn't matter what I do, nothing seems to work, I'm thinking that they're kind of like Edison and what they have to do is understand that as long as they keep working and striving towards something each day eventually it will work. In our society right now we've learned to really kind of be soft and gushy and what that means is we really haven't had to struggle a lot. Even in this country is poor as some people are or as broke as they are most of the time we can find something to eat most of the time we can find some kind of shelter and there's plenty of air to breathe even though it might not be as clean as it used to be it's still there those are the primary prerequisites for life is food air and water all this other stuff that we have are the niceties of life it's luxury it's society growing and learning. Bottom line is it's not as tough as some of us think it is and yet those of us who have never had a challenge or a problem in our life look at any kind of a problem as being catastrophic. Today what I want you to do is understand if I'm talking about you what you want to do is just keep marching. Even though it may feel silly and stupid, you just keep marching anyway. You keep your faith. You trust God. You trust things to work out and you focus on what you want rather than what's not happening. One of the big things that's happening with people is as they focus on what's not happening and what's not happening in their life, they're creating more of that because that's where their focus is going. It's like riding a bicycle and being focused off the side of the, the sidewalk. That's where you're gonna end up going. We have a tendency to go where our thoughts are streamed to. Keep marching, keep fo focusing on what you want and understand that as you do that, you're gonna create a magnetism towards that outcome eventually and not give up. And remember, there's always a new day. Discouragement is really a scam we run on ourselves, which is a language that says, well, it's probably not going to work out, so I'm not going to do anything. And in that thought, what happens is we don't do anything, and then nothing is going to happen. And I can guarantee you, if you give up, then nothing will happen. As long as you keep marching, there is a possibility of something changing. 
I want you all to think about that. So until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary positive day. And remember that if you focus on what you want, the chances of getting that are pretty darn good if you just keep marching. Bye-bye.